Galaxy DX 979 is a compact mobile CB radio with something of a retro look. It's been around for several years now, but the old-fashioned controls add to the look. The design choice largely comes down to the tactile feel and use of knobs and switches over the small buttons that rule the world of modern interfaces. Additionally, the tactile feedback and dedicated knobs make it possible to use the radio without taking your eyes off the road. I believe the retro look is a part of the charm here. The microphone takes away from the appearance and breaks the magic. It sports more of that awkward 70s look which feels out of place rather than bringing a retro charm. This is a simple 4-pin mic with a blockish design. There are no controls on the mic except the large PTT button that covers a big part of its side. Nothing much of note can be said of the microphone. On the left of the radio, there is an analog meter that shows SWR, amongst other features. The auto-calibrating SWR is the highlight for this radio and makes things easier for the user. Having a built-in SWR meter can help users troubleshoot any issues and better manage the radio. Auto-calibration allows management of these issues, so even the average non-tech set a user can handle this radio. Another feature that Galaxy likes to highlight is the backlight, called the Starlight Faceplate. The light gives a good aesthetic touch to the radio, though they can feel bright and disturbing at times. Thankfully, the company includes a dial knob to manage the intensity of the light. To the right of the radio, there's a small digital display and a knob. The display shows the active channel. Switching channels is easy by simply turning the knob. A talkback feature is available on the radio through a dial. You can set it to off or move the knob to get the desired volume. On that note, the volume knob shares its space with the squelch function, which is the most common approach for CB radios. Thanks to the separation of the controls, the talkback volume doesn't affect the system volume and vice versa. They are managed independently. Turning the volume knob all the way to the left will switch off the radio while moving it towards the right will switch the radio on and then adjust its volume. There are three switches on the transceiver to manage some aspects of its operation. The first switch handles the mode for the analog meter, switching between SWR and PWR. The next switch allows users to move from PA, public address, to normal mode, and finally to NB. ANL. The automatic noise limiter handles its job fairly well and makes a noticeable difference in signal quality. Features that feel missing here are a frequency counter and Roger beep. These features also form the key differences between the DX979 and DX959. Interestingly, the DX979 comes pre-wired for compatibility with external frequency counters. It's possible to give the radio a quick mod to add Roger beep as well. Some models in the series, like the DX979F, include a five-digit frequency meter. Overall, this is a well-built CB radio with SS B and shows a good range of features for a decent price. To sum up what we like is the compact size, the easy intensity management for Starlight faceplate, the analog meter, the auto calibrating SWR, and the ease of use. On the downside, Starlight faceplate sometimes feels too bright and distracting, and the overly blocky design of microphone. Our rating for features is 7.5 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. Audio clarity, 8.5 out of 10. Or an overall rating of 8 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best CB radio for you? Or do you think another CB radio is better? Check another video where we review the top SSB CB radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe.